Who says you can't go home again? Thomas Wolfe. <laughs> you know, I, I can't believe it, Ron. You, you kept this room exactly the way it was the, the day I left for college. You probably think I'm very sentimental to keep it this way, but your youth was a happy time for all of us, Sonny. I know. You know, it's amazing. My old photographs, my old awards, my old dresser. It's like a personal museum. You know, Mom, I have a confession to make. I used to hide French postcards in here under my sweaters. No, dear. You hid them in this drawer. <laughs> under your socks. <laughs> I never could understand why you got a kick out of looking at the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> that, that was just the top card. <laughs> oh, and my Hopalong Cassidy bitch friend. Look, there's Topper. There's Wendy. <laughs> Mama, this may sound silly, but would you mind if I lay down on my bed for just a minute? Oh, go ahead, Sonny. You're a grown man now. You don't have to ask your mother's permission to do things anymore. Keep your shoes off the spread. <laughs> you know, I, I may be sentimental, too, but I'm, I'm glad you kept a room like this. This room is your room. It always has been. And I promise you, it always will be. At least until that father of yours sells this house out from under us. See, Mom, that's, uh, that's one of the reasons I came over today. Oh, I knew I could count on you, Sonny. Now, I want you to sit down with your father and very reasonably and carefully talk some sense into him. If it doesn't work, lean on him. <laughs> I heard that on Kojak. <laughs> you know, see, in, in driving over, Mom, I had a lot of time to think, and I, I decided that uh, maybe Dad's right. He got to you, didn't he, son? <laughs> Mom, I mean, the, the property taxes are so high, and, and the two of you don't need this big a house. Oh, yes, I know, I know. Your dad's told me all that before, but I think it's a crock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad mentioned you said that in, in so many ways. <laughs> Mom, I, I really think you ought to at least, you know, talk it over with him. He says the subject is closed. He says I'm an old fuddy-duddy. Oh, I can sympathize with that. <laughs> I've been called a fuddy-duddy ten times in the last couple of days. But in your case, it's true. <laughs> Eleven. Oh, Sonny, why can't things remain the same? Mom, I, I, I know just how you feel, but... I think I ought to tell you what everybody's been telling me all week long. Everything changes. Let's be happy that they're, they're good changes. I thought you were on my side, Sonny. You grew up in this house. Your whole childhood is in this room. Oh, look. Look at your old badger sweater. Doesn't that bring back a lot of memories? Two years of varsity basketball. Mm -hmm. You had a wonderful team in your senior year, Sonny. Oh. You learned the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. It wasn't so wonderful, Mom. We had two thrills and 20 agonies. <laughs> well, that's only because they didn't play you more. You were so good. Oh, you remember the time you won that grand and stunning trophy? <laughs> Bob Hartley, most improved player.